Welcome back to another video. It's your favorite math professor here, Dr. Tarsia Hubert. And in this video, we are going to talk about the five number summary and also box plots um, because box plots connect to five number summary. So just exactly what is your five number summary? Let's get started. So the five number summary consists of the smallest data value, which is also the minimum, Q1, the median, which is also called Q2, Q3, and the largest data value. If you watched the previous video, we talked about how to find Q1, the median, and Q3. So none of that is different. It's all the same. It's just now taking all those numbers, putting them together, adding the minimum and the maximum. That gives you your five number summary. So this is nothing new. It's just the new term, five number summary. All right. And then we have box plots. Box plots are a visual way to display the five number summary, and it helps us to be able to look at the data and summarize it in a visual way, and also to be able to compare different data sets with this visual interpretation of our data. All right. And there are five steps to drawing a box plot. And I'm going to go through these. I'm, you know, I'm just going to mention them, but then we're going to do an example to where we actually go through each step so that you can see how to use it. So step one is you determine the lower and upper fence, which we've done in a previous video. Um, in our video about outliers, how to find outliers. So the lower fence and the upper fence is used to determine your cutoff values for your outliers. And step two is you draw a number line long enough to include the maximum and minimum values. And you put Q1, M, and Q3 on your number line, and you enclose those numbers with a box. And then step three, you, lower, you label the lower and upper fences. Step four, you draw a line from Q1 to the smallest data value that is larger than the upper fence. And then you draw a line from Q3 to the largest data value that is smaller than the upper fence. Those lines are called whiskers. And then any data value less than the lower fence or greater than the upper fence, those are your outliers, and we use asterisks to mark those, all right? I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not too bad. So let's just jump in an example and see how this looks. All right, here's an example. The data below represent the age of the mother at the time of her first birth for a random sample of mothers. And so in this box over here, we have the various ages. It is a random sample of 30 mothers and it tells how old they were when they had their first child all right um 21 21 30 18 17 and so forth there are 30 numbers here and what we want to do is we want to construct the box plot of the data and in order to construct the box plot we have to determine the five number summary and then we want to use the box plot and the quartiles to describe the shape of the distribution all right so the first thing we need to do here is we need to take this data set and we need to put it in order from smallest to biggest because we got to find the median. Um, and remember, in order to find the median, you put your data set in order from smallest to biggest. And I've already done it for you um, on this next slide. I have put the numbers in order from smallest to biggest and I broke the sets in half because we have to break them in half for our, to determine Q1 and Q3. There were 30 numbers in the data set, so I put 15 numbers at the top and 15 numbers at the bottom, all right? And they are in order from smallest to biggest. So to find Q or to find Q2, which is the median, it's going to be, because it's an even number of numbers, there are 30 numbers, the median is gonna be the average of the two middle numbers. Our two middle numbers are gonna be this last number here and this first number here. So in order to find the median, we would find, I'm just gonna call that M, we will find the average of 23 plus 24, which is just the number that's directly between those two numbers, which is 23.5. All right, so that's our median, which is also called our Q2. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna find Q1. And Q1 is gonna be the median of the top half of the data. Um, and the top half is up here in the top. There were 30 values in the data. If you break that in half, there are now 15 values in this top half. So the middle number is going to be in position 8. Okay, remember, um, you one way you could do it is you can cross out a number on both ends until you get to that middle number. Or if you take half of, if you take half of 15, it's 7 and a half, and you round that up. You round it to eight. So the eighth number is the median. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number in this 
eighth position is going to be the median and it's going to work the same for the top half and the bottom half so your q1 is going to be 20 that's a two and your q3 is going to be 26 all right and so now we can determine what our five number summary is our five number summary is going to be the smallest data value so our five number and I'm just going to abbreviate because I have to write on here. Our five number summary is going to be equal to, that's the equal sign right there, our smallest number, which is 16, our Q1, which is 20, our Q2, which is the median, which is 23 and a half, our Q3, which is 26, and then our maximum, which is our largest number, which is 35. So your largest number is here, your smallest number is here. So that's our five number summary. And now we want to create a visual representation that includes that. Oh, after we calculate the upper and lower fences. Okay. Okay. I got booted out. My computer started tripping, so I had to start over. But what I did was I typed the five number summary here, which includes the minimum Q1, our median Q3, and our maximum okay and so what we need to do now is calculate the lower fence and the upper fence all right so we're going to start with calculating the lower fence i'm calling it lf and remember that is equal to q1 which is our 20 minus one and a half 1.5 times our interquartile range so our iqr so iqr we also have to calculate that that's equal to q3 minus q1 and in this case it's 26 minus 20 which is equal to 6 okay so we have 20 minus 1.5 times 6 1.5 times 6 is 9 so that ends up being 20 minus 9 which is equal to 11 so our lower fence is 11 and now we want to calculate the upper fence so the upper fence i don't know what my screen is tripping um the upper fence is going to be q3 which is 26 plus 1.5 times 6 1.5 times the IQR and the IQR is the same so that ends up being 26 plus 9 which is equal to 35 okay so our lower fence is 11 and our upper fence is 35 and I'm going to jump out of this screen again because again my computer is tripping and I'm going to retype these answers so give me one second y'all Okay, so I typed that information on there to make it a little bit neater for you. Um, we have the IQR, which we calculated was 26 minus 20. That came out to be 6. Then we have our lower fence, which is 11, and our upper fence, which is 35. So now we have everything that we need. We have our five number summary. We have our lower fence and our upper fence. And so now we can draw our box plot. So I'm going to draw a number line. Hopefully my computer don't trip out on me. And my lowest number, where my fence is 11, that's the smallest number I'm dealing with. Uh, my minimum is 16, and then my maximum and my upper fence is 35. So I, I need to go at least from 10 to 35. So I'm going to start with 10, and I'm going to go in increments of 5. So 10, 15, 20, 25, and I'm trying to keep them equal distant, 30, 35. Okay, so I didn't really need all of this over here. I can delete some of that over there. Erase. Okay. And I want to start off by putting a line at the median, a line at Q1, and a line at Q3. So Q1 is 20. So there's a line here at 20. And I didn't mean for it to be that messy. So let me delete that and start over. A line at 20. A line at 26, which would be about right here. Uh, sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm writing on my screen with my finger because my pen is tripping. 
And so I'm not getting the best accuracy on my writing. Um, and then I need a line at the median, which is 23 and a half. So about right, if I put little lines in here, it's 21, 22, 23, 24. 23 and a half will be right here between 23 and 24. And so what you do is you make a box around those three values. Okay. So this first line is the Q1. The middle line is your median, and the last line is your Q3. Okay? Now what we want to do is we want to um, label our lower fence. So our lower fence is right here at 11. And I'm just marking it so I know. And then our upper fence is here. So my lower fence is here at 11, and then my upper fence is here at 35 and so what we want to do is we want to draw a line from q1 to our lowest data point that's bigger than the lower fence well our lowest data point is 16 and 16 is bigger than the lower fence so i'm gonna put a little line right here to represent 16 i'm gonna draw a dot here for 16 and i'm gonna draw a line to q1 all right and then the same thing with the upper fence I want to, my biggest data point is 35 and my upper fence is 35. So I could draw a line here for 35 or a dot here for 35 and then draw a line from Q3, from Q3 to 35. Now, if we had any data points that were lower than 11, which we don't, or if we had any data points that were bigger than 35, which we don't, those points would be considered outliers. So in this case, we do not have any outliers. So this is what our box plot would look like. Now, in order to describe, because not only did we have to draw a box plot, we also had to describe the um, shape of the graph. And so in this case, our line or our whisker is shorter on the left side than on the right side. There's a little longer, it's a little bit longer whisker on the right side. And so we would say, since the whisker is longer on the right side, that this data is skewed right. And it's not skewed a lot right, it's slightly skewed right. But either way it go, the tail is longer on the right side. So this data would be skewed right, okay? And that's how you would draw a box plot. That's how you would calculate your five number summary, and that's how you would get your box plot. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments or send me an email directly, alrighty? Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.